Hey guys, it's Neon Gamer here, and today we are going to go over Terraria top five mage weapons. Now, in this video, we're going to go over how early you can obtain these, how rare they are, and then um, just the overall power of them. So let's get right into the video. So starting in at number five here is the Razor Pine with Spectral Attacking Headgear. Now this combo is deadly before Moon Lord. Um, doing the events like Frost Moon, um, this thing can shred pretty much anything as you can see there. Um, like white streaks of light come out when you hit an enemy to attack them and attacks enemies nearby which is amazing too and guys as you can see here if i just fire it using the spectral armor it can take down these dungeon enemies after plantera with ease here's a debolist i hate these guys i'm nearly dead no not in the video not in the video no 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 <laughs> they're not dying in the video um, yeah, you can see the raw damage this can do against just kind of lesser mobs. And it's all around a very good magical weapon in Terraria. I'm coming in at number four, guys, is the Nebular Blaze. Now, this weapon is from the Nebular Pillar in the Celestial event. This thing um, is a very good... Um, um, crowd control weapon as it has a homing ability um, on its um, purple beam that shoots out a lot just in Terraria I have learned that um, it's, there's two types of beams that can shoot out the purple one which is the normal one you usually see it shoot out and then you've got um, a blue one which doesn't home in but it does um, a lot more damage than the purple one. Okay guys, coming in at number four is the Lunar Flare. Now this weapon is dropped from Moon Lord, has a, the damage I have it now on this mythical one is 144 ma magic damage. I do have it mythical. Um, yeah, it's a very good um, mage weapon and it's more of a boss weapon or a <clears throat> well, not a boss weapon, more of a uh, to take down bunches of enemies packed in one space. Because if you look at this on the target done, he's it's getting about 15k damage per second, which is quite a lot. But now, if you're fighting a boss and look at that single target, it's only three or a spec three or five, 3500 damage per second. Now, two remain. You've probably already seen from inventory these buns but we'll just show you it now I guess so this thing yeah this thing called the last prism not good no I just kidding guys this weapon is a beast that's why it's number two there is something a lot better than this though oh the last prism has a piercing attack and as it charges up it makes a man a massive phantasmal blast that can pierce through any enemies and it does about 18k damage 19 up to 20k damage per second which is incredible um but i guess it's a moon lord drop so it should have that amount of damage you may disagree with this number one spot but in my opinion from what i've used this with this uh, mage set i love it now it is called something called the Razor Blade Typhoon. Now it doesn't have as much damage as the other weapons, but it does do incredible against um, crowd control enemies. As you can see, it bounces off walls and yeah, homes in as well on enemies, which is incredible. And um, yeah, if you can't like understand how good I feel about this, um, I'll show you a few clips of me playing with you and thanks you and for helping me record that um, Yeah, we're defeating celestial pillars and I was using this and it tanked them right, Guys That is my top five 
um, magic weapons in Terraria. There goes the Razorblade Typhoon and it's deservedly number one podium spot. And guys, if you disagree with me, please put what you think in the comments below. I'd love to see what you have. But apart from that, just watch the me using the Razorblade Typhoon against Slash Kill Pillars. And yeah, apart from that, I'll see you all next time. Peace.